All right, hi everyone. I'm going to be discussing apotherapy and uh, medical uses for honeybees. Uh, so apotherapy is practice uh, that encompasses medicinal use of all bee products, with um, the most common procedure being bee venom therapy, or BVT. So apotherapy was first seen in China around 2,000 years ago, um, as uh, it was used as an early form of acupuncture. Bees were also used to make ointments by the Egyptians, and in uh, 1888, the Austrian physician Philip Tarek published one of the first clinical trials, but it wasn't until closer to the new millennium before clinical trials became more common due to the increased anecdotal evidence by people who had tried the therapy and claimed success. So as I said before, apotherapy includes medical uses for multiple bee products, um, those including pollen, honey, propolis, royal jelly, beeswax, and as I said, is used in the bee venom therapy, their venom. So a little bit more about bee venom therapy. Um, it, uh, it uses a series of stings as therapy for multiple ailments, um, such as tendinitis or arthritis and um, is even being used on patients with multiple sclerosis. BVT takes advantage of the melatonin in the bee venom, which acts as an anti-inflammatory, and uh, so it reduces the inflammation um, of the ailments. Uh, BVT can also help by improving the body's immune system. So, Bee venom therapy is usually done by the person themselves, um, although sometimes the person may opt for a certified practitioner, um, though insurance rarely rarely uh, covers that the cost of the treatment by a, by a practitioner. Um, so how, how BVT is done uh, is that the bee is picked up using a pair of tweezers and held against the skin until it stings. Um, the stinger is left in for 10 to 15 minutes so that the the venom can be released from the venom sac. Um, bee venom can also be uh, administered in BVT through a shot um, and then just injected into the area that is being treated. So due to the wide variety of ailments that uh, BVT is used as as relief for. There's also a very wide variety in the number and the frequency of sessions for BVT. Um, in a patient with, say, tendinitis, uh, you may only see a few sessions of treatment where hopefully the patient will see a reduction in their pain. Um, whereas more chronic issues such as arthritis and even the multiple sclerosis, um, It'll take more sessions and uh, with more stings in each session before the, the patient is seeing relief. So here we see a, uh, a practitioner uh, administering BVT on a patient, um, presumably having some sort of issue with his knees. Um, so if you want to see a video of BVT being performed, there is a uh, link in the description of a practitioner administering BBT on a patient during the Martha Stewart show that I'll link you to in the description of the video. Um, there's also a question down there for you to answer. Um, thanks, everyone. Bye.